The Indian naval ship, INS Vikrant, the Navy's first indigenous aircraft carrier, is currently undergoing extensive sea trials before entering operational service this year. Previously, it was anticipated that Vikrant would transport up to 24 MiG-29K or MiG-29 Cub fighters because the aircraft is an all-weather carrier-based multi-role fighter. The MiG-29 Cub aircraft also offered in a two-seat variation. However, because of its age and Russia's inability to integrate systems and subsystems onto fighters, the Indian Navy chose other options for INS Vikrant. Besides this, the MiG-29 fleet continued to face severe maintenance issues, with many requiring repair after each deck landing, which damaged many of the fighters on board components. The Indian Navy also complained about Russia's inability to incorporate all agreed-upon features into the MiG-29Ks. This was due to the 2014 sanctions imposed on Moscow by the US, European Union, and other international organizations for its military intervention in Ukraine, which had originally been contracted to provide several MiG-29K components. So, with the indigenous twin-engine deck-based fighter a decade away, the Narendra Modi government will purchase 26 carrier-based fighters for the soon-to-be-commissioned INS Vikrant on the recommendation of the Indian Navy. According to South Bloc officials, India will not lease fighters for INS Vikrant, but will instead make an outright government-to-government -government purchase of deck-based fighters from either France's Dassault or the United States Boeing, all based on an evaluation of the Indian Navy's aviation wing. Also the Indian Navy wants eight twin-seater trainers out of the 26 planes, which can also be used in combat. While the flight test trials of the French Rafale Marine options were completed in January at the Indian Navy's shore-based test facility in Goa, the trials of the US F-18 Super Hornet are expected to be completed by June 15. Both fighters are nearly identical in age, and both manufacturers have facilities in India for maintenance, repairs, and overhaul. Dassault has sold Rafale fighters to the Indian Air Force, while Boeing has sold P-8I, anti-submarine warfare platforms, Chinook helicopters, and C-17 heavy lift aircraft. The two aircraft have proven track records, with F-18 being tested in Afghan and Iraq wars by the US Navy. Also, both aircraft have undergone extensive testing at the Goa test facility, but have yet to land on India's sole aircraft carrier, the INS Vikramaditya, which is currently undergoing major maintenance in car war and is expected to resume service later in June. And, after sea trials, India's indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, is expected to be commissioned by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on August 15, 2022. The carrier-based fighter deal is expected to be linked to a larger strategic agreement with the country involved. As India is looking for aircraft engine manufacturing under the Self-Reliant India initiative, Indian private sector companies will also participate. While, French Safran is eager to manufacture 100 kN engines with Indian entities without preconditions, the Defence Ministry is also exploring the possibility with the US, as the GE-404 engine is used in the indigenous Tejas fighter and the GE-414 engine is being considered for the DRDO's twin-engine advanced multi-role combat aircraft AMCA project.